Hello and welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this quick video tutorial, we're going to walk through the all new version 4 order management system. Uh, the screens have changed uh, significantly and uh, offer a faster performance. They offer a nice offer a nicer view uh, of the ordering system. And we'll walk through some of the things you can do uh, in bulk and individually with orders as they come in. Uh, so let's get started here. Let's take a look. Uh, I've got some sample orders in here and I go to the orders tab and you can see here we have 10 orders. Uh, it gives us basic information like the order date and the totals uh, as well as the status of the order. Uh, if you if you have processed credit cards live on your website then you would see for example card approved in the order status. If you use a third party uh, payment processor such as PayPal uh, where the customers leave your website, go out and pay and then they can come back to your website. What you'll see here is a third party pending when they place the order and when they leave and if they go out to PayPal and make the payment uh, PayPal will talk back to your easy cart and change it to third party approved. So the order status is important to look at. Um, we always recommend people use live processors because you get that instant payment and customers never leave your website. Uh, if you use PayPal uh, you do have the chance for customers to leave. Uh, they've placed the order but they never actually finish payment and so that's why you could have some orders in a third party pending status. So it's good to look through here uh, and take a look at the order status before you fulfill any order. Um, we also have bulk actions on here and this allows you to do multiple things such as export orders uh, to a, a CSV file. Uh, that's helpful if you want to try to import this into your third party uh, accounting software. Uh, you're able to print receipts and packaging slips uh, in bulk. Uh, packaging slips don't include any pricing information while the receipts do include totals and prices of individual items. Uh, you can also go through here and mark selected as viewed. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's say I'm going to take these first three orders and I'm going to mark them not viewed. When you first get orders they're going to have these little exclamation points and that just means the order's never been viewed, it's new to you and it shows up over here as a bubble icon that hey you've got new order. And as you open an order and click on them and view the details these little icons will go away. And if you have a ton of orders, uh, sometimes you might want to come in here and just bulk select and say mark all, all viewed. And that takes these little icons away. So if you want to get rid of those bubble notifications, you can do that. Uh, but it's a nice touch to say, hey, I've got something new. I need to go in there and check it out. And so let's take a look now at the actual uh, order details. So I'm going to take a look, for example, at order 10 and I'm going to click on the little edit button and this is our new order panel uh, that lets you actually go through and see all the details uh, you can see over here on the right hand side is all the customer information and the left hand side this is all the product information as we go through here you'll notice we have uh, shipping we've got shipping addresses we've got some payment information and we've got billing address information as well as customers IP address and whether or not they agree to the terms. Uh, there's a lot of settings here that you may or may not see it just depends on how you have your store set up. Um, for example you may have no shipping or you may have static shipping set up so you wouldn't see some of this information. Um, yeah, sometimes you sell downloads and you may not have shipping addresses but you can see this is uh, basic information of course if you paid with PayPal you wouldn't have credit card information or expiration dates um, this information is not stored on your server uh, we only keep the last four digits of credit cards uh, 
that way you never have users uh, full credit card information in your database so if your site was ever compromised all that payment information never actually gets stored on your server uh, this information here uh, is just the last four digits we don't actually know what that full uh, credit cards would be uh, if we, as we look over here at the order information for the for the order, we can see this is order number 10 and when it was placed. Uh, you can also see all the order statuses, and you're able to go through here and pick from a whole bunch of different order statuses. Some of these are approved, for example, third-party approved, uh, would uh, or card approved. These statuses would allow certain things to occur, such as if you sold downloads. Um, customers would then have access to that download button within their account. If you changed uh, an order to order on hold, that download button would no longer be available to the customers. So these, these are more than just looks. Uh, most of them have an either active or non-active status too. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you had an order canceled, they're not going to be able to download if you refunded an order they're not going to be able to download but if you have order shipped or order confirmed those are approved statuses so it's important to kind of look at those and, and especially if you have downloadable products okay as we look at the order items uh, what's new if you have a professional or premium edition license uh, you're going to be able to edit things and all of these little edit icons will be active and you'll be able to use them. If you have just the free trial, uh, you'll still, still see the same screen, but you won't be able to edit things. For example, if I want to edit this line item, I can come in here and say this is fitted skirt. Maybe they didn't want the fitted skirt, they changed it. It's the uh, polka dot skirt. I'll change the SKU to PS and maybe the pricing of this changed. Okay, and when you're done, you can hit the little check mark. It'll save that information. And the customer would see that on their account as well. Uh, you're able to edit things like totals, taxes, shipping. You can come over to the right and you could edit someone's shipping address, their billing address. All the editing features turn on with the Pro or the Premium Edition, so it's definitely, I think, a nice option to upgrade to that. Um, some payment gateways offer the ability to refund an order, uh, so you might see this button, you might not. Uh, if you want to add a line item, maybe this order you want to add something new, you can. And we even let you search through your products. I'm going to search for printed top and this customer wants one of them and I'll save that item and so I can easily add that of course you might have to manually edit your totals and stuff uh, you can adjust things like gift cards and any coupons that were used or you can just see them uh, what the customer used uh, up above we also have things like print packaging slips if I click on print packaging slip you can see we have all of the information uh, available right here for this order uh, we can also print the receipt uh, as well uh, if we want to we can also send order shipped email to the customer uh, if I clicked on this it's going to send out uh, an email, another receipt to the customer, but it's also going to include any order shipped information. Uh, if you happen to come into shipping and you typed in a carrier and a tracking code, uh, that's that's what would get, also get sent out on the email. So it's, it's nice to send those once in a while if that's part of your business model. Uh, another really nice feature is we allow you to go from next to previous orders so you don't have to constantly jump back to the order panel uh, so if you want to you can just go to the next order here I'm at order 9 take a look at it you could print receipts do what you need to do to fulfill the order
So that's the new order screen. Uh, it's it's uh, got a lot more features. Again, the pro and premiums are going to let you update. And from there, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but worth checking out. Again, if you have any questions about this panel, uh, don't forget that every panel has this little gray help icon right here. You can click on that, and it takes it out to our help documents, uh, and we try to document as, as much as we can, as well as these helpful videos. So thanks for watching.